Welcome to video one in a series of introductory videos for SolidCam. In this video, we'll be covering the global settings of SolidCam. So the global software settings for SolidCam can be found in the tools menu under SolidCam, SolidCam settings. And these are settings that once you set them, they are global in that they are for the entire software. So every new part you generate will copy these settings and they will become the part settings. Here, these are the settings for the entire software. Some of these become the defaults for your new parts and some of these just govern what happens throughout the software. So let's take a look at this one line at a time. So starting with user directories, these are the directories where certain files are saved. These are basically just file locations for things like your thread tables, your iMachining database definitions, which you'll see later on in these series of videos, uh, what those relate to. And basically, when you open up a new part, you have the choice of either saving it in its current location, uh, where you grab the, the original SOLIDWORKS part file, or you could save it to any directory you want. And if you want to set a default directory, that's this right here, user directory for CAM parts. System addition fi additional files is pretty much everything else that you would see inside the software. So things like your tool definitions, tool libraries, holder uh, definitions, uh, STL holders, uh, various things that you'll either see in the next series of videos or in some of our side videos with the tips and tricks uh, related information. Next is units. So these are the units that will govern fees and speeds, measurements, uh, pretty much anything inside of SolidCam that requires a unit of measure. These are just defaults. When you first open up your part file, you'll have the option of choosing whatever units you want to work in. In this case, we're just setting it so that uh, every new part will start with this as the default selection. Default CNC controller. The CNC controller is the post processor used to generate code from all the stuff you're doing graphically inside the software. Here, you get to choose which one is defaulted from the selection. So first off, here's the address of where all your posts should be kept. If you're moving from one version to another or you want to save the post to a network location so that everyone in your, in your team has access to it, this is where you would actually change the location. So I have it set to the default location on my C drive, but I could easily put this on a network. I could put this some other location where other people need to access it. And then down here, from each module I have access to, so milling, turning, mill turn, and wire, I can tell it which post I want it to default to. Again, that being said, once you open up a new part file, you'll have that option again to select it for a different post. But if you only have one post you have to deal with, sometimes it's better to just do it here as a default, and then every new part, you don't even have to think twice about having to select that. In the G-Code section, you tell SolidCam where you'd like that part file to generate its G-Code Two. So you can see various options here. Uh, the default option is in the same directory as the CAM part. You can actually save it in um, uh, a different directory completely by choosing that. Uh, you can set it to a directory or a file location set by your VMID file. The VMID is the actual file related to your post. So wherever your post is set, saying for the G code to be generated and saved to, you can do that as well. If your machines are networked and all your G code files, NC files, have to be located in the directory that they have access to on the network, you can say G code directory and then browse that file location as well. Further down the list, you'll see there's some other options related to if you do some splits, it gives a different name. You can customize the, the, the G code file name. Down here, you'll actually see where if you do generate the code, you'd like it to be opened up in, a, uh, in an editor, and then what editor to use. In this case, I have it set to my notepad, which is the default selection for SolidCam. A default install of SolidCam will open it up in notepad because we're reasonably sure that you'll have a copy of notepad to open it up. But if you have something like Simcoe, Predator, Ultra Edit, uh, any of the uh, NC or text editors out there that people use, all you gotta do is just link to it here, and then it'll automatically open up whenever you generate G code inside SolidCam. Under CAM part, again, just some default options here. I'm getting it to default to open up all my new part files as external. I'm getting it to open them up in compressed mode. And my temporary folder is this address right here. Now, you don't wanna change that, that address. Uh, that's a good place to keep it because the temp folder is where your part is, is saving to while you have it open. It's only when you properly close it that you actually send it to the location you've chosen in user directories or when you first open up the part file. 
that being said, this is the location where if you do have any issues with, with uh, files uh, in terms of it's trying to open up for a temporary folder or you didn't properly close it and you've loaded up your temporary folder, this is where you can find where that address is and then you can go in there and clean things up. Again, there's a tips and tricks video on that as well. Let's go to automatic CAM part definition. So you'll see that we have the three main modules up there and it's just different uh, options within there that we'll cover when we get to those specific videos. But as, a, as an overview, these are just defaults so that I get it to automatically generate a machine setup for me in milling. I'm not telling it to define the stock and the target, but you have that option. And again, we'll go over that when we get to those videos. And for each module, it's essentially the same thing. I'm telling it to create a machine setup, I'm declining the definition of a uh, fixture to be done automatically. I'll do that myself. And stock and target definition, I'll do those myself when I get into those files. Corner system definition, it's basically, as soon as you define your corner system, this is where you'll see your levels. Again, we'll get to, to this when we get into, those, into the individual corner system creation for both turning and milling. But you can see here that the start level, the clearance level, and the tools level are defaulted here. So those are just be one inch, five inches, and 10 inches respectively above whatever I set as my Z equals zero. Stock definition, with each part, you're gonna set up your stock, you're gonna define your stock, and you can see here that it has certain uh, values in here defaulted. I'm actually just gonna set these myself to zero. When set to relative to model, I'd like it to start right on size with the model. So I'll just set that as such. And I'm defaulting it to start with the mode relative to model. These are just personal preferences. So again, these are ways to just set defaults on the software so that when you first open your, up your part file, you can see that these are already set. And let's go down to defaults, geometry. So you can see here uh, just other defaults related to the geometry. For instance, uh, my gap minimum, gap maximum, I have set them to two thou and four thou only because I have found that I, 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 when I work with certain parts, those are the options I want. So again, you're just setting the defaults for your, um, uh, your, your parts when you first open them up. Under eye machining, you can see that you have control over eye machining, so I can default it to a particular material. I can tell it which options I like it to start with. So in this case, recognition by faces is what I'm getting it to start with. And then other uh, values in here that are defaulted for when you use eye machining inside the software. And then further down to miscellaneous, this is where you can turn on your 3D mouse. And if you have a, uh, a DNC, this is where you can browse to the location for the DNC and what software to use. So everything in here is essentially just to set the defaults for your parts when you first open them up. Uh, if you find that you tend to do something repetitively, then you can come in here and set some automatics. For instance, under default CNC controller, we told it which post we'd like it to start with. Under cam part, if I'm always starting with external, I'll just set it there. And I can get it to automatically define some of these items here. There are things in here you can get it to skip, Again, if you find some repetition with your parts. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCAM, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at SolidCAMSupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series and on the YouTube channel itself. Thanks for watching.